All right, we're going to be focusing quite a bit on order of operations um, in this next set of videos. But before we do that, we do need to cover what exponents are, or at least you know, refresh your memory if you've seen them before. Um, exponents are just a compact way of writing multiplication, a repeated multiplication. So for instance, here we have this multiplication problem where we're multiplying 2 to itself five times. So the way that we would write that compactly is 2 raised to the fifth power. This bottom number here is the number that tells us what we're multiplying. And this superscript number, the one that's written you know, above there, um, is telling us how many times. That's what that represents. All right, now there's also some terminology that we need to know in here. And our terminology is um, when we have our exponential notation, which is what this is called, this bottom number, or the number that's telling us what we're multiplying, is called the base. Very, very important. The superscript number, or the one that tells us how many times, is called the exponent or the power. You do have to know that. Now, we also have some um, sort of uh, com a more terminology, I guess I should say. Um, anytime you see something that has a power of 2, like let's say um, 3 squared, or 3 to the 2 power, we read that as 3 squared. If we have something that's to the third power, the exponent is 3, we read that as 3 cubed. Anything else we read as to the power of. So like this says 2 to the fifth power. If we had had something like this, we would say 3 to the fourth power. So anything other than squared or cubed, we just say to the power of. All right, let's look at some examples here. Here we have a problem, and we read this as 3 squared, because it's to the 2 power. Here they say identify the exponent and the base, and then simplify the expression. So we want to tell what is the base, what is the exponent, and then we also want to figure out what this is. Remember, we read this as 3 squared because it's to the 2 power. The base is the number that we are multiplying. It's what you're multiplying. So in this case, it would be 3. The exponent is the power or how many times. It's always this superscript number. So that would be the number 2. Now, 3 squared literally means multiply 3 to itself two times. So 3 times 3 would be 9. Let's look at another one. Again, we're going to be uh, identifying the base and the exponent. And then we're also going to figure out what that simplifies to. So the base is what we're multiplying, which in this case would be 11. The exponent is this superscript that's telling us how many times we're going to multiply that. And now, literally, to figure out what this is, this says multiply 11 to itself three times. So this would be 11 times 11 times 11. Well, 11 times 11 is 121, and then we'd have to multiply it times 11 again. So when we do that multiplication, we will get, let's see, what will we get? We have to add here, so that'd be 1, 3, 3, 1. So that would be 1,331. Now, <clears throat> what might be a very good idea for you to do would be to write out a list of your perfect squares and know them. It will make things so much faster. You need to know 1 squared is 1. You need to know 2 squared is 4 and 3 squared is 9, and 4 squared is 16, and 5 squared is 25, and so on and so forth. 